Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Screen Sanctum. I'm Steve, and today I'm going to react to Atlanta Season 1, Episode 7, titled Ban, or B-A-N. Um, last week was a Vanessa-heavy episode, and it was probably one of the better episodes. Felt so bad for her. Um, everything seemed like it was going to go right, and then at the end it didn't, but... I do appreciate that we got an entire episode dedicated to Vanessa because she's been in some of the earlier episodes, but not a lot, really. So I'm glad for that, and I hope we get more going forward. Um, today, again, it's B-A-N or Ban, and I'm excited uh, for this episode. I did hear that this was one of the better episodes of the whole series. Uh, it was critically acclaimed, I believe. So we'll see what it's all about. But as always, keep liking and subscribing and hitting that notification bell. And um, yeah, let's get into it right now. Professional driver Dodge commercial? <laughs> ah, Black American Network. That explains it. Oh, he's on a talk show? Montague. Good evening and welcome to Montague. With us today, we have the head of the Center of Trans. This episode should be deep. Dr. Deborah Holt and recording artist Paperboy. Start at the beginning. Paperboy this is an odd pairing. You engaged in a Twitter rant that had some pretty inflammatory statements. Oh. All the N-words who said I was weird for not wanting to F-word Caitlyn Jenner. Would you want to explain that statement? Oh, okay. That explains why he's on this panel. <laughs> you oh, man. Explain that statement. I meant what I said. Sex with Caitlyn Jenner because y'all say so. Mm. So you don't think... Caitlyn Jenner is important. Like, not my life. So, you know I mean? how long have you disliked trans people? Man, look, I just found out they exist. Huh? He never said he didn't like trans people, did he? Uh, a lyric of yours? Man, I was just rapping, man. Look, I said worse things. You ever heard my song Illuminati Sex? Haven't heard it yet. Well, there we go, then. Uh, Deborah. <laughs> I've said worse things. That doesn't make it better, but. Well, Miss Mr. Uh, pa Mr. Paperboy. Mr. Yeah. What would you consider yourself? A Mr. Rapper? Paperboy. A straight rapper. Hell yeah. Oh, pro what? If I f with you, you my n word. You my n word for life. Yo, you know that. <laughs> yeah, I understand. Half the time, look, I'm just trying to get paid. Yes. You feel me? Look, why you think I'm on this show? You're not getting paid for this. Hey, hey, Ern. Oh. <laughs> no, look, I'm not calling him an it. No, well, I'm just saying that. No, look, look, can I say something? Damn. Well, All right. It depends. We to gotta take a break. Oh, so they're doing this episode. Like, it's the whole show, and then they have... Com Damn, they really got... This should have. This must have been an odd episode to air. It's an episode that has commercials in the episode, but then has commercials. The price, on the, the price is on the candle. Hell yeah, Arizona, yes. 99 cents since I was a kid, and that was like 30 years ago. I Ooh, good catch. Fine, all you're drinking it wrong. This is crazy. They're like legit commercials. 
the Dodge Charger make us this is too funny without saying anything at all. I like this. Transitions in this is a cool format. Uh, but what about race? Our correspondent Nathan Wilder has the story. Transracial. Is this like um? Oh, I forgot that that woman's name. Harrison looks from the outside to be your average teenager. He goes to school. But there's one difference. I'm a 35 year old white man. Harrison, born <laughs> Antoine Smalls, has transracial. This is like identity. Rachel D Dolzier. And then it just hit me. I'm white and 35. <laughs> I just missed what? a lot of some time. I was just here. And where do you work? I'm a systems engineer for Coca Cola. Oh, okay. That boy don't work. He go to school and that's it. I'd love to wake up one day and say, hey, everybody, I'm Rihanna. But I ain't. It's been <laughs> so how do you embrace your identity? I dress a certain way. Patagonia. I wear a thick brown leather belt. <laughs> hey, excuse me. What IPA do you have on tap? Hey, did you see Game <laughs> of Thrones last night? <laughs> Harrison has been planning a full racial transition with the doctor Samuel Vergara, who guarantees Harrison can visually transition through an experimental procedure. The procedure is absolutely 100% possible. He's going to look weird. What are they going to bleach his skin? <laughs> He's going to look weird. Hey, excuse me, this is definitely the guy. He doesn't even live in the area. I've never seen him before. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. I think we're taking slow strides. But you have to believe Dude. better. Otherwise, you just die inside. Hi. I'm Devion Johnson, a famous movie star. And when the director calls cut and I get a quick five... Swishers oh my god. Only cigarillos made with the highest quality tobacco from family owned farms. Boy, every time. This is funny because I've never actually seen a commercial for Swisher. But I'm from the Bronx, so I know what they're for. <laughs> It's a smooth taste. These this is a really good commercial. Swisher Sweets. There's just something about them. And try our new pre dump Swisher Sweets as well. Oh, shit. Dude, do the out, oh, man. 2023, I wouldn't be surprised if they sold pre dump. Are you afraid to speak your mind on this subject? Actually, yep, I am. You can't even say ho in a song no more. <laughs> a travesty, I'm sure. Yo, why, why, <laughs> like, yo, why are you talking <laughs> like that? Like a travesty, I'm sure. Like... Your news is problematic. Bitch, that ain't my fault. Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, no, I won't have no, you on my show called anyone bitches. <laughs> oh, All right, simmer down. Oh, my God. Okay, okay. Uh, paper boy. Isn't a lack There's of nothing wrong with profanity, by the way. Trans people? I should be able to say something that's weird without people hating on me. All right, look, I never, I never said anything about taking away nobody's rights. Your remarks offensive. Yeah, well, freedom of speech. No, you're right. You hate 
women. What? This is a huge social commentary episode. Let's pick the Wallace. His wife left him for his brother. An armed court battle. He ain't say one word the whole trial. But then at the end, he just stood up and said, Leave me my Dodge Charger. Oh my God, he doesn't even have pants. Driving around this neighborhood in circles for a week. Just waving. Mm. <laughs> oh shit. This is crazy. Nice try. Oh. Stop resisting. Oh, Stay down. Oh. He's going to jail. That's what happened. <laughs> oh my no god. You sitting on my back, man? Ah! Sir, be quiet. Yo, Ooh. sitting on his back. We just give him the cereal. No, only kids can have coconut crunchos. You know that. That's a wet lie. Oh my god. Damn. That one was serious. We showed a clip about a young man dealing with transracial identity. Please welcome Antoine Smalls to the show. Hello, Montague. Thank you. Oh for my God. Ah, uh, beautiful. I was checking out some cheap art spaces for me and a friend that I made up. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. A uh, friend that I made up. Cause you look like Super Saiyan right now. Like, is that like, is that the Goku like Dragon Ball collection, my nigga? Like, no, you look like Drake <laughs> Malfoy, dude. Like, bangs, my nigga. Like, nobody told you not okay. to do that. Like, okay. We really can't blame rap or the hip hop culture. He's just expressing himself to the best of his ability, and I will defend his right to do that. <laughs> but, but Harrison, don't you think that the rap community and its treatment of trans people and homosexuals is indicative of a larger problem in the black community? No way, not at all. I mean, a man wanted to turn himself into a woman? That's just unnatural, and I don't think we should have our kids. Oh, shit. Wait, 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 what, what, are, what are you saying? I'm not into gay marriage. That, that is gross. Why would I ever tolerate something like that? Oh, my God. Yo, this episode is... We, we, no. The way they, they, where they did this is genius. I mean, are, it's the are, you, truth. are you crazy? Please check for her book, Transition, as well as Paperboy's mixtape, Postal. Yo. Available wherever mixtapes are available. <laughs> Wherever mixtapes are available, like that's pretty funny. Palm tree, right? Like the, you look like the lost fifth beetle, my that they just don't talk about. Like I don't care for it. Damn, man. That episode was I could see why this episode was was critically acclaimed. There's a lot going on in here that I don't even think one I should talk about because it's not my space to do that. But you notice a lot of things in here and it's it's this episode's pretty deep. Like I feel like the whole episode of Montague or the whole episode of general is how non-black people perceive black people in the world today like there is a lot of discourse 
in general on the internet, on Twitter, between trans people, black people, um, anyone who's non-white that, for lack of a better term, minorities, where they are treated, they're all treated horribly, right? And some people feel like some are treated worse than others. And it's true. Like, if you're trans, you are definitely hunted. Like, trans people, they don't come out and say they're trans for likes. Because trans people get killed. Like, you, they wouldn't do that, right? But some, and I'm only going by what I see. It's, it's not a lot, but I've seen it. Some white whether it's gay, trans, LGBTQ people care more about themselves than black people, than they care about black people. Like they'll fight for their rights and they'll just not really care about black rights. And it's not specific to that because there are tons of white people who don't give a shit about anything but themselves. So I like how instead of casting a white person to just play a racist or a bigot, like it would still get the point across. But having that gentleman transition to a white man, I think was perfect for the show because it is a comedy, but you're still getting the same commentary out of it. Like that was perfect for what I just said. Like, just think of him as a real white man, even though he's obviously black transitioning to white. But that bit at the end where he's fighting so hard for people to respect his decision to transition to white, but he can't even tolerate gay marriage. Like there are people like that in this world. They just want you to believe in whatever they believe in as far as like... Like I said, I don't want to get too deep into this because I'm not smart enough to talk about this. But it's like when people say Black Lives Matter, there is a group that willingly pretends like they don't know what that means. Right. So they'll say all lives matter or oh, what about white lives or what about these lives? Like they just genuinely want to be combative. So it's more about self-preservation. Like I care about me. I don't really care what happens to you as, as long as I live rather than you're being treated like shit. I get treated great because I'm, I'm white. I should be helping everyone like helping someone up here isn't bringing me down here. And that's, I think a lot of people don't understand that. Like people argue all the time. They'll say like, whatever I'm, a white man, I'm born here. I'm not rich. I, you know, I don't have a great job. I just get by. And it's true. There are people everywhere who just get by. But the point is that I know I can do something that a black man can't. Like that scene where the cops are talking to the, the older black gentleman and the guy who is going to transition to white basically profiles him. That shit happens. Like, they play for a joke again. He said, dude, I called the cops. It's obviously not me that they're looking for, but it happens. They're just privileges. I could do stuff I know where if there's a cop there, he won't look at me the wrong way. He'll just look and look away. But if I were black or maybe if I had a black friend with me, they might ask questions. And I know it doesn't happen to everybody, but it happens. But the main point is, I know on a scale of whatever, if this is the bottom and this is the tippy top, I am at least here, at least in the middle, right? So let's just say I'm more towards the top and someone else is treated more towards the bottom. We want everyone treated the same. And that doesn't mean that I'll get treated any differently. But a lot of people think if you help somebody that you're diminishing yourself and that's, that's not what's going to happen. So um, this was a tough one to actually talk about because it wasn't just played for laughs. Like there was meaning towards this episode 
and there's a lot more than what I'm talking about. But as I said, I'm not smart enough to go in depth with this because I don't want to say something that I'm like trying to get a point across and I say the wrong thing because I have a million things going on in my head. But uh, the other thing that I noticed is Paperboy is a black man. Montague is a black man. They're two men from different sides of the tracks, if you want to say. And he was asking him questions as if they were facts. The only facts we were presented with was a tweet that Paperboy said, basically, he wouldn't have sex with Caitlyn Jenner. That's the fact. But Montague was saying, basically, that he hates transgender people, that he, I think he said he hates gay people. Like, he told them, why do you hate these people? He never said that. But we understand that the tweet could be perceived and may have been perceived as being a hateful tweet. That is true. But he never said he didn't like them, didn't agree with them, and um, didn't believe they should have the same rights as him. And that shit happens too every day. And that happens to everybody. And online is a crazy world because you only get 100 characters to put a point together. It's impossible. That's why I'm surprised that so many people try to have serious discourse on a Twitter platform. You can't. You only have so much space to type your thoughts and you're not going to get everything out. And then someone's going to read it and interpret it differently because they can't hear how you're saying it. I could go on forever um, to talk about how genius this episode was and how good it was. But I'm going to have to stop because I think you get the gist of what I'm saying. It was funny. And it made a lot of really good points. And I feel like if you got this episode, you're probably in a good headspace. If you thought this was funny and you got offended by it, I think you missed the point. So that's all I have for this episode. As I said, I don't want to ramble too much upon points that I am not the one who should be speaking on them, if that makes sense. So let me know what you guys thought of this episode. Please let me know what you thought of my um, commentary on this episode down below. And I really hope if anyone who's watching this is African-American or black, let me know if what I said made sense or if you feel like I spoke at a turn. I don't think I did, but, you know, I'm still commenting on something from the outside looking in. And I hope that what I said made sense and... Um, I don't think it was offensive, but you let me know um, if you agree, disagree. And if you do disagree with anything I said, just let me know, like clear it up for me. And um, or if you think I should have just ended the video and not said anything, that's fine, too. <sighs> with that being said, please like, subscribe and hit that notification bell. And if you're on Instagram, Twitter or Hive, come find me at Screen Sanctum and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, guys.